So it's a full moon and it is high tide, May 18th. And we are at Broadkill Beach in Delaware Bay and we are waiting for the horseshoe crabs to come up with the high tide to spawn. Came here last year, did this. Worked out pretty nice. And uh, hoping to get some good footage again this year. These horseshoe crabs have been around on the planet for 400 million years. They're older than the dinosaurs. And it just blows my mind to think that they've been coming up on these beaches every year for the last 400 million years to reproduce. Absolutely phenomenal. And to be able to come here and see something like this, well, it's going to be a yearly tradition for me, that's for sure. Alright, so this is them. They're starting to come in. Not too many yet. Just a few. They really do, they come up with the high tide, so they're, they're just offshore waiting for that moment. Horseshoe crabs, Atlantic horseshoe crabs. Now these guys are not real crabs. They're more closely related to spiders and scorpions, believe it or not. And a recent study suggests that they might actually be arachnids, like spiders and scorpions, but they certainly don't look like uh, a conventional arachnid. They do look like something from the Carboniferous period uh, over 300 million years ago. Mostly unchanged. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Here's another one. We got another one over here. So I don't really want to harass them, but let's take a look at them on the under on the underside. So you can get a they don't bite or pinch or nothing. And you don't want to pick them up by the tail either, because that could break. So you just pick them up by the side of the shell like this. And then we'll flip it back over and let it go. So I was told by some folks out here conducting a survey that there probably aren't going to be a lot of them because uh, the water's too cold. Although I'm in it and it feels pretty good to me, but this might this trip might be a kind of a bust. I mean, we got some got some horseshoe crabs, but not like what I was hoping to get. But we're gonna stay here a little longer, and hopefully they'll show up. Either way, it's a nice night to be out on the beach. Check these guys out. They all got these slipper shells and barnacles and other cool things growing all over their shells. And some of them are. Enormous. Look at, the si like, look at the size of these next to my foot there. See how big these uh, these things are. Yeah, that one's got a lot of gnarly stuff growing on it. Look at that. You know, this one's like, oh my gosh, that is gnarly. The stuff on that crab. Wow. You trying to dig her out of there? You trying to see her whole body? No, now she's gonna get buried again. You're very wet, Sam. Did you bring a change of clothes? Yeah. There. There she is. There she is. There's a whole bunch through here. There's one. Oh, 
look up here. What's this up here? Oh, there's more. Can you count them right here? How many are there? Four. So they're having a party, aren't they? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hi. There's no one here. Four of them. Oh, here. and look at oh, it. Five of them right there. One, two, three, four, five. Let's help this guy over. Whoa, she looks slimy. Yeah, that one's very bumpy. Oh my. She's very slippery. Jeez. Look at all that mud on her. Barnacles. Lots of barnacles on them. I'm covering it. Another one. Flip that one over. That one's got slipper shells on it. That one's got shells on it too, doesn't it? Well, don't put mud on him. He's got enough stuff to carry. You really gotta be careful where you walk. <laughs> that is not something you wanna step on.